Hey guys, it's Zach Power here from the Hockey Buys, and you know, the NHL season has been real slow. Like, I mean real slow. Okay? Enough for me to get up and start watching baseball. You see that down there? Baseball. Okay? But I'm here to tell you, no worries, because it just got started to heat up a little bit. Patrick Waugh, now I know this is old news, but I want to talk about it. Patrick Waugh has left the Colorado organization, just like he has with Montreal, okay? He quit, quit, oh, I'm done with this crap, and just leaves, okay? Okay? So, the Montreal Canadiens, they want their, oh, they want their French coach since 93, oh, right? This just might be your time. I'm sure he knows a little bit of French. He did spend his first, like, what, 10 seasons in Montreal, right? Would it be such a bad idea? He had a 130 and 192 record with Colorado. And you're saying, but, and, but I, I, I don't know. I think it's a great record for a coach, especially with what he was working with. He, he basically reinvented the empty net strategy, pulling some balls at like the eight minute mark. Holy Jesus. And why not give him a shot? Why not give him a shot? You've done it so time and time again. Guy Carboneau, 0-0 record. Uh, Randy Cunningsworth in the 2012 season, 0-0 record. Claude Julian, all he did was spend a few time in Hamilton. Bob Gainey, 165 and 219 record. I believe that beats Patrick Waugh's record, don't you think? Don't you think? And, and Michelle Therrien, his first time? It was his first time. He was a rookie coach, he spent a few time down this place, this place, this place. So I don't understand from the Montreal Canadiens, this is your time. You've spent so much time looking for French coach options. This is your time! Okay? This is your time! Patrick, but the thing is, is for Patrick Waugh, is can you trust him again? After his leave in 95, can you trust him again? After what he did, is he going to get up, wave the white towel like Al Arbor or whoever it was back in the 80s? I, I, I don't even remember who was that old. Is he going to get up and wave the white towel and leave? Is it going to be just like uh, the Colorado Avalanche where he has a tendency to leave? I don't know what to say. But you know the Montreal Canadiens fans are going to be pleased to have him. Because they gives him a standing ovation every time he enters the building. Because he left. He left like 10 years ago. Like, what, 30 years ago? He abandoned your team. Your team has sucked butthole since then. And you're giving him a standing ovation? I think that's enough to put him on the coach. 130 and 192 compared to 165 and 219 and a bunch of first-timers. By the way, they could add Mark Crawford. 1,151 wins, 549 losses. And they could have had him. They could have had Mark Crawford. They were talking about how he's going to speak French. He played. O he was o coaching over in the European leagues, so it's not like he wasn't rusty. I don't know what to say, boss. I don't know what to say. But for the Montreal Canadiens fans, I don't even know why you'd want to get rid of Tarion when he had a what? 163-102 record in three seasons. Do you really think that, that's, that this is so bad? That you've been riding your goalie for the past umpteen years? Patrick Waugh, Ken Dryden, Jacques Plant, and then Carey Price, Jose Theodore? And he gets injured and the Canadiens lose. I don't know what to say! And then he goes over and blames the coach? 116-100 record. That's pretty good. But... But you gotta look at it. You gotta look at it. Okay? I'm, I, I keep I'm crumpling this up and folding it back again. But I'm telling you that Michelle Therrien has got the better record. He's got another 40 wins. Yeah, yeah, he might have more losses, but he suddenly has more wins. 
to win some, you lose some, Montreal. Thanks for watching. I'm, 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 I'm disgusted. It's disgusting.